let's right click, modify, center the pivot, and let's do D down and V to the floor. And I will then control the door with this. So it'll be open and closed, open and closed, open and closed. All right, great. And I need the command panel as well, right? So let's come back here, let's come back in here. So I need a block with a door light. So let's create a block. Uh, scale this down, scale this down, move it over and V it, move this. Uh, D, boom, bing, move it up, move that there, make sure it's somewhere over there, frame up on it, move it up, and start doing some scaling, get this thing to be right size and shape. What do we got here? It's two, and it's thinner than it is wide. Let's move this somewhere right around there. Okay. How do I want to do this? There will be text on it, obviously, and then there's an area for both of these objects. So do I, let's uh, insert edge loop to what do I want? four and uh, grab these guys, um, thicken them up a bit. I am worried about the user being able to actually select the buttons and manipulate them. So it looks like I do need to sort of maximize the sizes of these buttons. I mean, these are ridiculous, ridiculously huge here, but it's the text on the top or the bottom? Text is on the bottom. So let's give it some more space. Yeah, all right. Uh, face, face, we're going to, let's just add a little bit more. Uh, is, are they rounded or is it, it's just a, it's just a flat edge on that thing, isn't it? Uh, not what I wanted. Let's just kind of bring that in ever so slightly. Uh, do the buttons depress? So they don't depress. They just swap material color. All right. Um, so let's just... Uh, I could create blocks. I could duplicate the faces. Let's just duplicate the faces. Let's grab both of these. Uh, duplicate the faces. Yes, yeah, supply, close, F8, grab the duplicated faces, please. Yes, pull them out, and let's grab each one. So I want to grab each one independently. I don't want to do it like that, though. I want to, let's just, ah, screw it. You know, it's the same damn thing. Delete one, delete that one, grab this one, right click, Modify, center the pivot. Let's grab the edges of the object, right click, extrude the edges, push them in somewhere like that. And uh, let's grab the entire object now and just scale it down ever so slightly. D it, move its pivot to the rear, and move this into the back of this object, which is still woefully not far enough. Ugh, I'm not liking how that looks now, though. So let's. Am I still at the back? I am. So let's do a scale in all dimensions. I just kind of wanted a little bit of a lip, give it some kind of difference, even though the real the real game doesn't have that. It's just this pulled out button. Um, but I do feel like, especially if this is an older type in, uh, establishment, that is going to be more like that than anything else. And this is a separate object for me to press and do my magic with. Uh, oh, I've got faces on the wrong. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, F8, let's uh, control H, hide that, come back here, right click, boop, 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 delete, F8, save, always save. And I need a center point to work with, so let's go to insert edge loop tool, and I'm just going to do one, and we're just going to do a bam and Bam, I'm gonna remove this. It's just a guide, it's a template for me. And I'm just going to move this downwards to work with that center line. Now I can come in here and actually get rid of those edges that I don't need anymore. Save it. Okay, good. So one button does one thing, the other button does another thing. Let's go to dis what was it? display, uh, show old geometry. Um, okay, it's crude, but it's a door. 
And these are some buttons. And um, we're going to see if it works. I think we're going to have to do that. I'm going to hide this really quick and make sure this looks like something proper. Looks okay to me. So let's just name a few things, make this easier on ourselves. Let's call this uh, door, border. Zero one. Uh, this is just going to be the room. And over here, this is just the light switch underscore zero one. Or I should probably what do like left side L underscore zero one and light switch. And let's call this which button is which? It's door, door, control, L, zero, one. Copy that, format, bring it back over here. Let's call this light control, L, underscore, zero, one. Uh, these objects should probably exist together within some, some kind of a hierarchy. So let's take this one, this one, and hit P to parent. Let's grab this one and this one and P to parent. I just I always like to go in my outliner and just make sure things are looking right. I'm going to go to edit, delete all by type, history real quick. Uh, we've got some really bad names, so this is going to be called, uh, what is this, uh, security, room, and p cube one that is the control panel underscore L underscore zero one. And I want this to be an element of that as well. Okay, save this out again. I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with it. Let's duplicate it. So what we want to do now is mirror the geometry across. Let's go to edit mesh or mesh. Mirror geometry, I need to do it across the positive x-axis. Whoops, negative x-axis. We do want it to... There we go. Yeah, I thought I had it right the first time. So that's that. So I need to also bring over the door border, which needs to be mirrored. So let's go to mesh. Well, no, let's just duplicate it, bring it on over, and I'm just going to negate the... Transform in the x-axis, negative one, and go to modify, freeze the transforms on that object just to make sure it's committed. And I think the center point's in the right place to just, yeah, marry that right up. Now I need the control panel to the other side. Let's control D that as well. This object's symmetric, so I should just need to rotate it around. Whoa. Uh, actually, you know what? It might not matter because when I do a full rotation of 180 degrees, it's probably gonna end up back the way it should be, right? If it's go, if it's sort of, yeah, it's going through this transform space. It's been altered, so at 180 degrees, it will be okay. Let's um, modify freeze the transforms on that anyway. Well, actually, that's not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. Let's move this over, and I wanted to mirror the location of this object. So let's just Control DB align it over there really quick, and let's put the back corner of this against the back corner of that right there. That looks right. I got two light switches under the same group. That's the issue. I, I didn't press up. So what I wanted to do was duplicate that group itself and then move it. That's why I was getting those funny problems because I was within the other object. So let's just flip it around and back it up. Save it. Now I need to rename this to R. Not like there's going to be more than one, but let's just keep our naming convention nice because we're just starting this project and the last thing I want to do is screw it all up. With this hierarchy, this node really makes no sense. So let's grab both of these, throw it under there. Grab this, throw it into the room, and nuke the group. I'm just adding a uh, redundant transform, really, when I'm doing this. It just makes no sense. So we're just, we are going to get rid of that. And now I have door border underscore, this should be underscore L underscore R underscore. Okay, save. Um, Let's open this up. These need to be R. This needs to be R as well. We're good there. We're good there. Okay, save. Display, show, show geometry all. Okay, door, so this is going to be a security door, underscore, L, underscore, zero, one, save, control D this object, bring it on over. Um, this sits in the track, so I need to D, V, align, move it into the track, which I believe is right there, right? Or is it too far out? Was it too thick? 
It doesn't even fit in the track. I, I screwed up the door profile size, it looks like. Let's come back over here and fix that really quick. Right click, grab the, both front faces. Uh, I'm gonna DV those front faces right there, move this into the track. And I'm gonna look at this side and it does sit within the track. So I'm happy, save. Let's go ahead and duplicate this object again, move it on over. Now let's D, V, and snap, and uh, modify center of the pivot again, and then just move it to the base of the door. Since they're sliding up, I don't need to worry about it being in the corner or something funny like that. Okay, so that's our basic room. Uh, I'm not gonna spend any more time right now developing this. I just wanna get the functionality in place. And uh, let's get this over into Unity. Close out of here, file, save as. Since we've, we've done sort of our first revision, I'm gonna go ahead and increment to two. Uh, window, outliner, is everything under security room? It is. Uh, modify, I'm gonna freeze all my transforms really quick, make sure everything's all nice and locked up. And let's go to file, save scene. Um, I forgot, export selection, FBX, come up. Uh, FBX exports, let's just call it security room underscore zero one, save. So let's grab the unite. A night at Georgie's. Let us save this off as a new test. So we're gonna do a scenes file, save scene as, scenes, and we're gonna do, is this scene? Where's this scene saved? Oh, put it under scenes folder. Now let's file, save as, scenes, we're gonna call this test underscore security room. Thank you.